Welcome to another edition of Let's Talk Health and this with me today is the lovely Mrs. Lisa Lowling Sprott and she's the head of our IT department. I am your host Nika Anderson Isaacs, Communications Officer in the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Environment. IT is critical to the functioning of how health, go, um, health information system has become even more critical part of that. Recently you were in Taiwan. Um, doing some training which would assist us in that and other areas of IT. Can you share a little bit with us about that? Certainly. So my trip to Taiwan was really, it was rather enlightening and enri enriching. Um, you know, having studied health informatics, it has really um, renewed my passion for, for informatics um, once again. Um, as you, you as you are aware, um, throughout the region we're somewhat lagging. So, seeing places like Taiwan and the level of advancement that they have actually embarked upon, it's truly was a a, a, a wonderful trip. So basically, while I was there, it was meant to be a work study trip, and um, at the Xinhua Christian Hospital. There, I actually was exposed to the various departments, such as the radiology department, the laboratory department, pharmacy, um, the IT department itself. Um, just seeing the way that the, the workflow and the various wards, um, visiting some of their district hospitals, Lucan um, to be specific. Um, and. Basically, they are open to assisting us here in St. Vincent, the Ministry of Health. They're, assist they're, they're open to assisting us to get our current health information system updated. Um, they are also willing to assist us to get our laboratory information system um, fully barcoded. Um, in the near future, even assist us with our radiology information system. You know, Taiwan, they, at every level that you encounter there, they are using technology. So they are fully aware of the importance of technology and how, how much it can ease, our, ease the burden of your day-to-day -day function, which is the level that St. Vincent needs to actually get to, to be fair. Right. So um, that exposure is really heartwarming. So basically, now that I am back mm -hmm. and I have experienced some of what they're doing, we are currently in talks with our with the, the various stakeholders um, throughout the ministry to now get uh, to roll out and to scale up our health information system. And, um, and there's plans to do that in the near future, right? Oh, absolutely. And you, the general public, will be will hear more about this in the upcoming months. Um, but you don't want to like kind of leak it on let's talk health like what we're looking at in terms of possibility of rolling it out well i think and we have actually um we've had we've let you the public know before about um that we do have a health information system so we have been running this as a pilot program for the longest and now i think it is really time for us to get it out there um, as in, it is out there already, but to get it widely used as a day-to-day -day routine, nurses. Um, so, because too often, you you know, as patients, you, you lose your records. Um, you, the nurses, they're using so many different books, the doctors, you know, we, it's time for us to take it to that next level. So yeah. what you're saying is pretty much um, in the very near future, St. Vincent and the Grenadines will be at that place where the whole health information system will be upgraded. Yes, we're going to scale up with the assistance of our, um, our counterparts in Taiwan, the IT department there, they are going to assist us with, the, with various um, programming, etc. And 
we are hoping by January of 2017 that we can actually reduce some of the paper. Let's eliminate some of the paper that we're using here in St. Vincent and get, you know, move to another level. That's awesome. We're gonna move to another level. It is timely. We need timely and readily available information down here. And I think it is, it is this age. It's, it's I think it's kind of obvious, but what does this mean for St. Vincent, an upgraded um, health information system? We currently have 10 modules in um, our health information system, which is called the St. Vincent and the Grandin's Health Information System, for short, SVGHIS. So within these modules, it means that if you as a patient um, visit the, the various clinics or even the, at the accident and emergency or as a patient, you know, which is considered inpatient, at the hospital, you should be able to see or you know whether um, in a month or five years all your information should be placed it should be computerized so from every point of care you should all your health records all your health data should be placed on the computer so each person would have a unique identification number so um, at every clinic or every hospital that you come in contact with, that number goes with you from birth to death. Okay, so some persons may be concerned about confidentiality. How do you ensure that person's information is secure? So, to be fair with you, in terms of the uh, the information, the health information system, I believe that your information is somewhat more secure there. You know than um, at present than at present because we're using various paper base right now and your records could be left just open whereas with the health information system one has to to be given the, a username and a password to enter into that system and um, whether you're a nurse or system to staff nurse based on your seniority it's different it's levels of access different levels of access privilege to, to get into to the system so um, in terms of confidentiality the Provision health information designing. system yeah. yes there have been um, various um, th there's an audit trail in the system that nice. can track and monitor who has actually entered areas that they're not meant to to go into so you know the different um, senior managers can receive the report on that and it's in terms of security, we have actually um, looked at the various risks involved and we've tried to mitigate some of those. Okay. We assume people know what HIS is, what health information system is. Let's break it down for them a little bit. What is the health information system? So the health information system um, is just basically going to allow us here to link the various public health facilities with our public lab um, and in the new, near future public labs and laboratories. Um, the various administrative um, buildings here, it's actually gonna link all of these different um, areas, these different facilities throughout the ministry and allow us to have timely and reliable information. So whether the clinicians, they would be able to see their medical information, um, the administrative staff would be able to work on the, 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 the um, financial and human resources as well as the maintenance aspect of it. You know, us as a technical team in the ministry would be able to monitor and to, um, to support the, the, the different areas. So it's, it's, a, it's a holistic system. It allows you to just totally um, link all the different areas. So breaking it down ministry. for persons who might be watching. So this would mean that if you were a patient at the Milton K. Memorial Hospital and then you went to, after you were discharged, you went to your clinic probably in Mespo 
or in Calicoa, then they would be able to access your information at any other health facility that you go through the computer system? Absolutely. So if you're in Beckway, if you're in Georgetown, if you're in Chateau de Lair, you your information will be able to you'll be able to retrieve your information from the health information system. Your unique ID so number So you have the number. Or your health ID number, it right. goes with you throughout St. Vincent and the Grenadines. This number, the, the, the clinician or the administrative staff, what a medical records steward's office, they'll be able to retrieve that health ID number and then they will be able to view all of your information in the system. Um, so, and again, based on your privilege, an administrative staff would not see your confidential medical information. You know, but they would be able to just view the basic information like your demographics, your your name, your your address, your um, next of kin. That would, that's what the administrative staff would see. A medical, a clinical staff would be able to view your only history, the clinical stuff. your medical yes, okay. your demographics as well as your 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 history. Okay, so, so everybody history. won't be able to see all areas of your, your file. Mm -hmm. It would be only um, access to certain persons based on the relevant information that they may need. Absolutely. This Absolutely. sounds like awesome and this means that a lot of positive improvements are coming for the health sector in terms of our approach to healthcare in terms of the delivery of services that we offer to Vincentians and stuff and it means that you're doing an awesome job and this would be even more work for you when the system um, rolls out. How do you feel so, about that? Yeah, we're ready. Um, we have a team of five who are always working really hard and um, we've been trying to get the back end right so we can move forward. Um, with this, this advancement and to be fair it's the 21st century and we're always modernizing we're trying to modernize the health sector in terms of the, the structural aspect of it getting the buildings ready and in addition to this we need information systems to 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 work to make our staff lives a lot easier and so the patients' lives are a lot easier. So this this is positive strides. <laughs> this is positive strides. Um, you know, it's going in the right direction for healthcare and the deliverables that we offer to the public and ourselves because we are all um, users of the system in one way or the other. If not personally, then a family member or so. I'm really happy about um, what I'm hearing here with the health information system. Um, we have a team of five. Yes. Um, what happens if the system goes down? Whoa, how does that work? That's that's where the brain freeze was. Yeah, that was the question. Yeah. So basically, the we monitor. We each of us we monitor the the various servers throughout the country um, on a daily basis, throughout the day, all day. To be What's about night? Well, that we too, can that too. at nights as well. We do have access in terms of because health is like twenty four hours. Like you don't really sleep. It is. It's a 24-7 facility and we can actually log into our uh, remotely to okay. monitor this. If there's a problem anywhere, they know that they can call on us at all times. Um, our numbers and email, etc. they're issued for, the, for each staff member. Oh, okay. Yes, it's, um, it's given to each of them. So we're open. And accessible. Absolutely. Okay, thank you. Any um, words of encouragement you want to give to persons listening to this interview? Be like, you want that system? No. Yes, we're, to be fair, we are going to do a lot more sensitization. Um, we're hoping that everyone will, will be supportive or continue to support us. It, again, as I said, this system is actually at the various facilities, different district clinics, the, the hospital, etc. But when we actually go live, come say January of 2017, if that is the right now, it's a All tentative date. All things being date. equal. Correct. It's a tentative date. But when we do go live, we're just hoping that everyone will just support us because it's an advancement and it's the way of the world. So today. it's advancement, it's modernization, it is. it is taking us to where we need to be. It's, an, it's another level that um, St. Vincent need to get to, to be fair. Right? 
H I S S B G coming officially on stream full force soon, like 2017 soon. Um, we all need to remember the message that the Ministry of Health has been pushing that our health is a shared responsibility. The IT team can't do it without our support. So when you're asked for this information, to give it to your healthcare providers and they need that information so that they can service you. So thank you Lisa so much for taking the time out to share HIS and IT with Let's Talk Health. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Appreciate it. All right.